Blessings and welcome everyone. Just a reminder before we begin, your rising sign horoscope will give you additional clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign horoscope may show up, and your moon sign horoscope will give you the less prominent side story that'll also be playing out for this two-week period. Remember, horoscopes serve best when observed, like a weather or traffic report. You have influence over all outcomes with your thoughts, actions, choices, and deeds. Use the information that presents to help you make the highest choices for the highest outcomes. If you wish to schedule any of my services or like access to more content via my Patreon, follow the links below or go to my website integrativemysticism.com hi there Aquarius it's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to the week starting February 15th 2021 and just a quick heads up for you yes we have switched back to doing a weekly system for the record I did enjoy doing bi-weeklies I liked them a lot but um in addition to getting punished by the YouTube algorithm for you know less frequent uploading as well as the, you know, kind of weird energy surrounding what I was kind of picking up from the audience. Um, I decided to kind of make a shift. I mean, the polls were 50-50 across the board when I was doing them. And the comments were overwhelmingly positive, but I couldn't help but pick up on sort of an undercurrent. And so I talked to a really good friend of mine, and he gave me some very salient points about information overload. And... I don't mind doing information overload in all my other videos, but when it comes to, you know, weekly horoscopes and things like that, okay, you know, let's roll it back to weeklies and uh, let's make it a little bit more um, compact. So that's what we're going to do. Now, be that as it may, the astrology that we're talking about in this particular video is a bi-weekly aspect anyway, and that's because we're talking about the new moon in Aquarius, which occurs February 11th and what it's going to be doing and affecting between the 11th and the 25th slash 26th, depending on where you live in the world. And so um, just keep that in mind. You know, for this particular video, the astrology is covering two weeks and the tarot is covering the week of the 15th. So this new moon is falling in your first house, your modus operandi, your self-expression, how you self-identify. It's you. And whenever we have a new moon, we are talking about a new beginning and an opportunity to grant a personal wish. Now, because it's occurring in your first house, this is actually going to be a wish that you can make on anything. What are you trying to create that you want to get the ball rolling with within the next two weeks? And it's something that you make the first move with, right? Because it's your birthday new moon once a year, usually. And so pay attention to what you can actually bring forth into being. What would you like to start? However, this new moon is also going to be square your, not your, I don't know what your natal chart looks like, sorry. It's not a personal reading, it's a general reading. Um, square Mars in Taurus in your fourth house of home and family. And so fourth house, remember that's, yeah, the household, the domicile, your nuclear family and blood relatives of yours, okay, or adopted relatives of yours. So with this square, we see a, an opportunity to refine your reality by pulling down the pillars of what has maybe created your reality so far, whether it's pillars from your roots or pillars from the home and family life you're leading right now. Now, pulling things down does not have to be cataclysmic. It's about renovation and refinement. In fact, a major revelation and retrieval of your true self and self-expression is actually restoring many areas of your life and elevating them to a higher state of health and function. In fact, a lot of you may be also going through a bit of uh, memory recovery, uh, personality recovery, expression recovery, you know, even going back to childhood. But it will put you at odds with those around you that may still be co-creating toxicity, knowingly or unknowingly, you know, because some people are asleep and they don't know when they're doing something toxic. Family and neighborhood community clashes occur, you know, with this kind of aspect. Um, when you're raising your quality of life. So as you go through this, just realize what elevating and refining your life for you, you know, again, and you're in, and coming into your true expression might reveal about compatibilities 
with those around you, but it's okay. You know, this is about coming into your own. And sometimes that does mean also having ripple effects. You know, we talk about, um, you know, your, your, your relatives, or we talk about maybe what's going on with your neighbors, your community. Sometimes coming into your own means also accepting where you are growing out of or were never a fit for something else. And in, conversely, it will also bring you closer to those that already made the jump in your family and in your community. So, you know, we've got kind of a double blessing going on here. As we get on to your cards, this particular week, uh, your spiritual theme is the Queen of Cups upright. And there is this big focus on healing, smoothing, and recovering all across the board. And you are getting a lot of support from people that you are not asking for handouts from. I do want to stress what I'm getting from this Queen of Cups is that when you let things be known where you are, what you're doing, what you're going through, and people decide that they will offer from the goodness of their heart a solution, you have to pay attention to whether or not you're ready for a solution. Now, I think that you are, okay? Because with the Queen of Cups, it's coming in to assist you because it's time for, for some solutions. It's time to bring this to an end, right? And bring in the better. And with the Queen of Cups, when people are sticking their necks out for you or giving you of their own, it's important to pay attention to where it's a part of a bigger deal. And we see this with the Ten of Swords reversed when it comes to your work, your finances, your job, when it comes to, you know, a lot of matters relating to not only your personal abundance, but again, how you are maintaining your environment in a practical way. The Ten of Swords reversed, sorry to pop my neck, uh, the Ten of Swords reversed is showing here something that is coming through as a saving grace. Now, whether and you might not necessarily even be feeling like there's any kind of danger, it doesn't have to be danger, but a saving grace in many respects, something that could actually be taking you from one situation that seems pretty bad, pretty unpleasant, to something that is actually better than what you thought good could be. It's something that could actually be saving a situation that is actually heading in a bad direction, or possibly with the Ten of Swords pulling you into a completely unfamiliar space that is actually going to be yielding a greater amount of abundance than what was generated in your familiar territory. With the Queen of Cups, I do feel like this is something that will be offered or given or proposed. So you want to keep open and engaged. As we get on to your communications with friends, relatives, and maybe other people in your life, we actually have the Two of Swords in reverse. And with the Two of Swords in reverse, I do feel like a lot of you Aquarian people may actually be taking a bit of a stand when it comes to family matters and friendship matters, but not doing so in um, maybe a, an aggressive way or, a, a, you know, again, a melodramatic way. But with the Two of Swords reversed, I do feel like you are choosing to clear and, and do a great deal of social pruning at this time. Now, the Two of Swords reversed is actually saying that this is actually a good idea because it may actually be that something provokes this, whether this is uh, news coming to you about something somebody is doing, something somebody's been saying that is showing you exactly who and where they are right now, and that may actually just make up your mind about them, or it may be something that you catch in the act that also makes you address how you want to handle this person in the future. Remember, actions speak louder than words. You know, if somebody's intention is to do something and yet at the same time they're compelled beyond reason to do the exact opposite, if not, um, you know, just something egregious, go with the action to let you know exactly where that person is right now. Not with judgment, but not with preferential treatment either. When it comes to your challenge this week, you've got the Ten of Cups upright. You really don't have any major personal challenges I mean, if you haven't noticed, um, all of this is about remaking your reality and doing a great deal of perfection to situations that have needed to be fixed or cleared for a long time. Your challenge 
if there is one at all uh, with this Ten of Cups, is honestly saying, can you maintain the standard of love and harmony and peace that is coming around you and make sure that you are also a good, you know, lord or lady or steward or regent of that space in the way that you would hold it for those you care and take care of it for those you care. Persephone's snoring in the background. Because you don't want to have all of this beauty come up around you and then go inv invite that which trashed the last place to come in and give them a room to live in. This is where I think the only challenge may show up for you. As we get on to your relationships with love and romance and partnerships, well, we do actually have the Knight of Wands in reverse. And one of the things that I'm seeing here is that uh, a lot of you Aquarius people may need to pay attention to where we're not necessarily being as open as we can with ourselves, our partners, or maybe somebody new about what we are hoping to actually achieve in this relationship going forward. Now I'm seeing this as you because with the Knight of Wands reversed, the first thing that kind of came through is sort of a need to address where there may be um, a reluctance to speak up, a reluctance to speak out, or a reluctance to share more openly. Because with the Knight of Wands reversed, sometimes what can happen is, is we can be tempted to put on uh, a costume. We can be tempted to do something inorganic. And if you've been watching any of my non-horoscope videos, you know that that is just getting fried spiritually right now. The Knight of Wands reversed is saying here, if you've been holding back, even the vocalization of displeasures or the vocalization of concerns, let yourself be honest. Let yourself be vulnerable, let yourself be clear. Because even new people who come into your life will actually listen. Because what I'm seeing with the Knight of Wands reversed, we don't want to run away from something or, or talk ourselves out of something prematurely just because we can't predict what the other person is going to say. I'm actually seeing cooperation for some reason here. It's interesting, Higher Self is kind of presenting a, a completely different spin on this Knight of Wands reversed, um, way off the uh, normal for me. But you know what? That's what we're talking about for you. And maybe there's just something for me to listen to here, even though I only have one planet in Aquarius in my chart. The Knight of Wands reversed is also, I think, just a bit of a nice uh, way for a lot of you Aquarian people to also see you don't have to keep doing something you don't like to do, either to get dates or to stay in a relationship. And you do have an opportunity to get off the hook from maybe continuing to suffer through something that you think you have to do for your partner and you really don't, and they will understand. So that is what I've got for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website at disintegrativemysticism.com. Mm -hmm.